Hey, Garrett Brill here. A while back I was asked to test a product that's designed for public safety. Uh, it's called the ResQ Beacon. Uh, this is a basically a, a red and blue strobe designed for public safety. Uh, the idea behind it is that whenever you're flying a UAS on an emergency incident, it's always a good idea for the ground crew to know that you're part of the emergency operation uh, and not just a looky-loo or something like that. All right, so uh, today is, is going to be kind of a two-part review. One of them is going to be the review of the product itself and a, kind of a hands-on. Uh, and then we're going to go out to the training grounds and we're going to do some flying out there in, in at nighttime and you can actually see what they look like on the ground in the air um, and what kind of light it produces. So this one, I've been, I, I received two of them. One of them I kind of wanted to keep in the box, and that's this one, so that you can see kind of an unboxing or exactly what you get. Some people like to see that. So let's kind of go over it here. Um, what's inside, whenever you open it, you have the beacon module itself, right, the strobe module, with a tie wrap that goes around it, and you'll understand that in a little bit. It has a nice uh, USB charger, that, similar to what you would charge your cell phone. It's got two plugs in it. It has the charging cable and it has a nice set of instructions on the bottom so everything that you need is in there you don't have to go out buy anything extra or anything to that effect uh, it's all right there for you all right so let's put this one back in the box real quick and I'll, I'll talk a little bit about the one that I've actually been flying and testing for the last several weeks and here's the module itself uh, you can see it's it's uh, pretty small, pretty portable, but it produces a lot of light. Um, the operation is very simple. You have a little USB port right here to charge it with. Uh, same thing as you would your cell phone. And then after that, it's just one single button. And to power it on, you simply hold the button and it'll flash. And then you can change the pattern, the flash pattern, by pressing the power button again. All right, and then you can change it one more time to a slower pattern, then back to the original pattern. All right, and then to turn it off, you simply hold the button and it turns off. So it's really that simple. Uh, the way that it mounts on there is this has a, I'll go talk about this for a second. This has a nice, smooth, uh, nicely designed clamp. Uh, it won't mar up your carbon fiber or anything like that. Uh, you just simply snap it on there and it holds on nice and snug now I'll tell you it'll hold on nice and snug how it is it's not going anywhere and I don't think it would move at all but they give you a little velcro strap just as kind of a little backup to make sure you nothing's going to fall off or anything like that and it's just really as simple as bringing the strap over through there it's like putting on a seat belt right so it's really that simple here's kind of what it looks like I'm going to turn it to the side uh, it just looks like that sitting on the arm a uh, couple, couple of notes that I'm going to go over while it's on there. One of the things is in the instructions, this thing said, uh, claimed that the pattern, uh, pattern one would go for 120 minutes, pattern two for 180 minutes, and pattern three for 240 minutes. In my testing, it ran a whole lot longer than that. I mean, a lot longer than that. Uh, at 120 minutes, it still was going just as strong as whenever I first turned it on. So I'm not sure exactly uh, what why they have those numbers, but they're extremely, extremely conservative. Um, and it actually runs a whole lot longer than that. All right. So the next things you might, a couple of things you might want to know is, you know, what's the weight of this? Some people might say, well, what's this going to impact my flight time? So that's a good valid question. And I brought the scale over here. I think you can see it. And this is on grams. And this thing's a whopping 47 grams. I think you can hopefully read that right down there. 47 grams, uh, you know, if you put two of them on there, one on each arm, it's going to impact your flight time by just a few seconds. I mean, it's it's not going to hardly have any impact at all. Nothing noticeable, that's for sure. Um, so um, I wouldn't hesitate to put them on there uh, at all based on, on flight time. Now, the one thing I'll say kind of go from, from there onto something else. Whenever someone asks me to test something for public safety, you know, public safety, uh, I mean, let's be honest, they're not easy on anything. The your cops and firefighters are, they're brutal. And you know, the machine just has to work. The equipment just has to work and it can't be, 
you know, they, they can't have some, some fragile equipment they need to do. So I have not been easy at all on this device. And even though they give you the typical warnings about, you know, uh, you know, exposing to water and weather and all that. Well, you know, I'm sorry if I'm going to test for public safety, um, you know, we're going to test this thing for public safety. So we're going to turn this thing on and I've already done this and I'm actually submerging this thing in water. Um, you know, it's, I, I've already done this. I've flown this in the rain. It's been raining down here in Texas a lot and it just keeps going. And I've done this several times again, outside in the rain, um, underwater in here just to see if it do what happened well, I mean, what would happen if you were out there flying you're trying to put it on it was raining and it fell off and and dropped in a water puddle I mean it just still needs to work right and I'm happy to report that it does it actually keeps on working really well all right um, I haven't had any issue at all with these at, um, as far as the design goes this is not designed for uh, to turn on and off in the air uh, if it were then then uh, that might be a, a little bit of a issue, but it's not. This is designed to pop on there really quick and turn on and off with a simple button. Um, so if you're looking for the ones to turn on and off from the ground, this ne isn't necessarily your solution. But a lot of people just need, hey, I just need to be able to pop on those strobes really quickly, get it up in the air. And this is for you. Uh, and they work really, really well. So uh, for what it's designed for, uh, great. I can't even really offer an improvement over the design. Um, outstanding job guys so anyway let's take it outside and and that'll be a separate video let's take it outside and see what it looks like talk to you later